What's up, you guys? This is the Anime Blaze coming to you guys with another topic. Uh, this video is about how Hollywood pretty much fails at making live action adaptations of anime shows. Uh, you know, I mean, come on. Have you guys ever seen a live action adaptation of an anime? If you haven't, I can think of, uh, of a good example. You know, here. I have this, okay, well, I saw this one first before I saw the anime one, uh, yeah, Blood the Last Vampire, uh, you know, at first when I saw it, I thought it was a pretty good movie, you know, I guess this was coming from the fact that I didn't really know too much about, uh, anime adaptations into live action movies, so, you know, I'm just watching, I think it was a really good, I thought it was a really good movie at the time. So, and then I hear uh, earlier on, I'm not sure exactly when the anime one was made. Uh, let me see. It says 2001. So I'm guessing that's when it was made. But so, you know, I go and watch the anime ones, which is this one right here. Uh, Blood the Last Vampire. So, you know, I go and watch that one and I, I'm looking at them. And I'm comparing them, and then there is just one phrase that comes out of my mouth. And that is, how the heck do you get this from this? Now, my main problem with the, uh, with the live action one was, uh, I mean, you know, they both started out pretty much the same way. Okay, uh, you know, the anime, they both pretty much start the same way. Uh, Aya, you know, they're on the train. They see the train coming by. You know, Aya goes and kills uh, this other vampire. Uh, they think he's a vampire, and they find out that he was just one that hadn't transformed. And so, you know, uh, and I thought the, the opening uh, for the movie was pretty good, you know, how they started it out. But then, you know, as I start watching it, I noticed how much it changed. I mean, you know, they were going so good. They had so much going for the live action movie, you know. Uh, they had so much going for it. But then they just strayed, like, okay, here is the movie. It's going, like, straight like this, you know. It's just going, like, how the movie's planning to go. And then all of a sudden, it just takes, like, a sharp right turn all the way down and just goes... It doesn't even dip. It just goes straight down. You know, so I'm thinking, like a plateau. And so I'm thinking, how do you deviate that far from it? I mean, come on. You have a freaking reference for it right here. How do you, how do you feel that much? I mean, come on. You, have a, you don't even have to do anything, really. The script, the characters, and everything is pretty much already written out for you. All you got to do is make a live action adaptation from it. I mean, you know, I'm okay with like a, a few minor changes, you know, like with a couple of them adding in a couple of characters. But what they did was they pretty much like shot out what the whole movie was all about. Like, I mean, they didn't, they didn't even get the point across at all. The ending for it was terrible. It had no. I mean, you wouldn't even if you see saw the live action version of it, you wouldn't believe how far they deviated from the original movie. It, it was just terrible. It was like a like a like a car crash, like a road collision or something. It was terrible, and then, you know, it, it makes you think. It makes me sick because my favorite anime, my number one favorite anime show is Ghost in the Shell, and they're supposed to be doing a live action adaptation of that. Oh, oh my goodness, you can only imagine how much they're going to screw that up. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a hardcore fan of Ghost in the Shell. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, when Hollywood Video was closing down, I went to Hollywood Video and bought Bleach Volume 1 and Ghost in the Shell for like five bucks. The Ghost in the Shell movie, the 90s anime. Uh, so the an 90s anime movie. So, you know, I mean, I guess it really all just depends on uh, which one they're basing it off of. But either way, you know, they're going to find some way to screw up the storyline. No ifs, ands, or buts. They're going to find some way to screw it up.
I don't, I don't give Hollywood any credit at all for anything that they do. Because everything I see nowadays are either remakes or total unoriginal ideas. I, I'm really tired of seeing it. And even just another thing, uh, have you guys ever seen an anime show called Noir? That Noir, that's uh, N-O-I-R. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I recommend you go check it out. Watch, the, they're supposed to be coming out with uh, an anime adaptation of that. Of that. Uh, I, I read it on Funimation's website about a couple of months ago that they uh, they trusted it. They left it to this big name producer uh, to make a live action adaptation of that. I mean, and if you guys haven't seen that show, it is it's really good. And the storyline is so simple, but I, I just know I just know deep down, Hollywood is gonna find some way to screw up that storyline. I, I just know it. So. My question to you guys is, what are your thoughts on uh, live-action adaptations of anime shows and or movies? Uh, do you think that Hollywood will ever be able to pull off uh, an exact, maybe not an exact replica, but like something good with like minor changes that will appeal to both the fans of the series or the movie or whatever and the people who are going there for the first time to actually see it? Or do you think that this is a continuing pattern that will keep going on forever? Uh, to, please tell me your thoughts on this because I honestly want to know. I don't think they'll ever be able to do it. So with that being said, this is the Anime Blaze signing off.